you guys so a few months ago I ended up straightening my hair to do a review for um, the clip ins y'all remember that so since then I've been getting a lot of requests on how I straighten my hair bone straight like my hair was so straight it kind of shocked me because I've attempted to straighten my hair out in the past but one of the reasons why I never liked straightening my hair out was because it always came out looking a hot mess it's like my roots always took really well but when it came down to those ends it was just a frizzy mess so this last time I did something a little different and like I said it kind of shocked me because I didn't expect it to work but it did so I'm going to straighten my hair out again but this time I'm going to show you guys how I did it my hair stayed straightened for about two weeks and again I was shocked the first product that I use is this heat protectant by Silk Elements I'm kind of embarrassed at how long I've had this stuff. Now y'all know y'all never hardly see my hair straightened out. Never. So, mm, I ain't even gonna put myself out there like that. <laughs> and the next product that I use is a product by Fantasia and it is called Fizz Buster. I got this one, the Silk Elements one from Sally's. Again, this is so old, the bottle may be different, so just ask about it instead of looking for a bottle shape like this. This one I got from Walmart. I don't remember how much it was, so y'all might want to check it. It says on the bottle, 100% effective. I agree. I agree. You're going to either use a bristle brush or a small tooth comb. I usually use the real fine tooth comb, but I can't find it for some reason. The flat irons that I will be using is the um, GVP and it's like the, the um, generic version of Chi flat irons. And let me tell y'all, I bought these things in 2009 and they are still working wonders. Okay, so on the night before, I applied some heat protectant and then I blow dried my hair and put it in some big twisties and threw a bonnet over it. So right now, I'm spraying heat protecting. Y'all know I got that 4B in that top and I don't wanna take no chances. In my book, you can never have too much heat protecting. Okay, so the next step is to apply the frizz buster. Make sure that you let this stuff penetrate through your strands. Now if you pay attention, I'm trying to part thin sections. The less amount of hair you use, the more straightened it will turn out. Right now I'm taking my wig brush and I'm putting it just a little bit below the flat iron just so it can part the way so the flat iron will know exactly what it's straightening on its way down. And y'all know them ends them ends be a hot mess and come to find out it's because that hair is so frizzy on the tips that as that iron is gliding over it it's just pressing it where it is but if you have something to guide and straighten out that hair as the flat iron is coming down it will press it down flat before it can curl back up again which will give it that bone straight look Right now, I'm applying this um, shine, this hair shine stuff. I got this from Walmart. I don't know the name of it though. I try to annotate it in. I use this just to give it a little bit of shine. I don't want it too glossy or heavy or anything like that, but just, just to mist it up a little bit.
And last, I'm gonna take my wig brush and wrap my hair and then get a satin scarf and tie it up. And you're done. I hope this video was helpful for somebody. I don't even know if this is what's working. All I know is, trust me when I tell y'all, I hardly ever straighten my hair because it never turned out right. If y'all try this, please let me know if this worked for y'all. Thank you so much for watching and y'all be blessed. Bye.